This video will take you through the 2019 NICE guidelines for determining which children should receive a CT head scan following a head injury. The NICE guidelines have been adapted for this video to be more colorful and hopefully a little easier to follow. The official version can be found on the National Institute of Health and Care Excellence via the link below. But please keep in mind that these guidelines are not static and are likely to evolve with time. This guideline applies to all infants and children up to the age of 16 years at the time of presentation to the hospital with a head injury. First assess for the following risk factors. Suspicion of non-accidental injury. A Glasgow Coma Scale of less than 14 on initial assessment or a pediatric GCS of less than 15 for children under 1. A GCS score of less than 15 at 2 hours after the injury a post-traumatic seizure but no history of epilepsy, for children under 1, the presence of a head bruise, swelling, or laceration of greater than 5 cm in length, a suspected open or depressed skull injury or a tense fontanelle, any sign of a basal skull fracture, such as a hemotympanum, panda eyes, CSF leakage from the ears or nose, or battle sign, or a focal neurologic deficit. If a single one of these risk factors is present, then a CT head scan should be performed within one hour of the risk factor being identified. A provisional written radiology report should be made available within one hour of the CT head scan taking place. If none of the aforementioned risk factors are present, then further assess for the following risk factors. Witness loss of consciousness greater than five minutes in duration, Abnormal drowsiness. Amnesia, either anterior grade or retrograde, lasting for greater than 5 minutes in duration. Keep in mind that this assessment is not possible in preverbal children and unlikely in any child under 5 years. Three or more discrete episodes of vomiting. Or a dangerous mechanism of injury, such as a high speed road traffic accident either as a pedestrian, cyclist, or vehicle occupant a fall from a height of greater than 3 meters, or a high-speed injury from an object. If more than one of these risk factors are present, then a CT scan should be performed within one hour of the risk factor being identified. If only a single one of these risk factors is identified, then observe for a minimum of 4 hours post-injury and assess for the following. A GCS of less than 15. Further vomiting. And further episodes of abnormal drowsiness. If a single one of these risk factors is present, then again, a CT head scan should be performed within 1 hour of the risk factor being identified. If no risk factors are identified, then further management depends on whether or not the patient is currently receiving anticoagulative treatment. If the patient is receiving anticoagulative treatment and the preceding risk factors were not identified, then perform a CT scan within 8 hours of the injury. If the patient is not receiving anticoagulative treatment, and none of the aforementioned risk factors were identified, then no imaging is required. Rather, use clinical judgment to determine whether further observation is required. I hope that you found this colorful reconstruction of the NICE guidelines helpful and worth your time. You can find this image and more on our website, medforvl.com.